Your mission, should you choose to accept it, drive four hours north to Itchitepne Springs in North Florida, where you'll have 45 minutes to get the shot before the sun passes over the top of the hold. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Tuckney so early it's a four-hour drive and um, we want to reach there at a certain time of the day because there's a vertical shaft inside the inside the uh, the spring and if you're there at, at high noon the light rays come straight down through there so you get these vertical rays that sort of steep down from the surface down into the deeper water and that's where we want to place coral it's right in the center of those light rays so got to sort of race up there and, and reach the place in time to figure a place to park and, and find out what's going on because none of us have ever been there but we need to be in the water and free diving and ready to shoot at 12 or high noon today so that's the reason for our um, early departure up to Itchituckney Springs. <laughs> We gotta be somewhere. Chap, chap. Let's get the ticket. Let's go. We got light rays to catch. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll give you a ticket for speeding. Okay. I know you're not from here. I lower your fine. Okay, your fine wasn't gonna be two hundred and eighty one dollars, but I lower your speed. I put you at nine over instead of twenty over. So we lower the fine to um, one thirty one. Thank you. You have 30 days to take care of it. The way you can take care of it, you can take care of it online by paying by Visa or MasterCard. That's the website. Okay. Okay, you have 30 days from today. Okay. And uh, once you pay it, you'll put your name in the system. All right, man. I appreciate you helping me out. Thank uh, you. Well, I know you're not from here. Uh, it's a ticket number. Okay. Once you go in there, you follow the prompt. 
and this one will tell you how to do that too and then you can put the ticket number and pay by visa or mastercard okay, okay. any question for no, me man. uh slow down be careful absolutely thank you debit cards don't work in Orlando, Florida. Hey, Coral. So if... Uh, we have our fuel here, if, made with real goldfish. So the Sasquatch could possibly live out in these bushes. <laughs> so if Aquaman and Sasquatch got into a fight, who would win? Aquaman. Why? He can dive down into a blue hole and just hide in there. What if they're in the forest? Oh, well, he, he lost. Aquaman's losing to Sasquatch. I, yeah, I think so. Or what about, you know what they, you know what's legit though? You remember the swamp thing? Yeah. That, that, that creature could live here. What thing? And swamp he thing. also swims, so maybe that's a better fight. Swamp yeah, that's a swamp thing. But Aquaman will win because he has the fish in the doctor. Church Road, turning it I think that Aquaman will get his ass kicked by swamp thing. Nah. Swamp you gotta thing. try it, man. Swamp thing. He has the trident, so he's got a trident. Yeah, plus he can speak the fishes, so. Yeah, but Swamp Thing is from the get. He's from the Maybe bayou. Maybe Swamp Thing will team up with Aquaman. Southwest Elam Church Road. Oh, here we go. Here we go in the bush. We're on documentary. Yeah, we're down here shooting. We're, we've been diving with bull sharks in South Florida, and we're down here going to do uh, some free diving images down here in the in the uh, spring. But you know what we left behind? Wait, can we buy some weight from you? No, but I'll give you some if you use it. There's sharks. We just need uh, two threes would be awesome. I don't need No. I don't mind renting it from you. Bingo! Finally, we're at uh, Itchatuckney. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Itchatuckney. Itchatuckney State Park here in, uh, is it Gainesville, Florida? Somewhere in Just the middle of Central Florida. Of north of Gainesville. North of Gainesville. And the trail was super long. 
So I'm so glad we're not scuba diving today because we would have had to lug that gear down a super long trail, but free diving made it a lot easier. Now today, this is the hole. So this is, uh, this is the, this Florida uh, groundwater, the spring water coming up here. And as you can see, right in the center of it, there's a hole and we're told it's about 35 feet deep. So we're gonna be shooting in that hole today. And what we're waiting for is the sunlight to get directly overhead so we get these beautiful light rays that penetrate, penetrate down the deep part of this hole. And that's sort of what we're going for today. So fingers crossed, we're gonna get the shots that we came for. You ready? I'm ready, look at the snake. Look, it's out there. It is, it is Florida. It's a python. These are some of the locals. You know, that's one of the things I love about this um, about this CNC housing is that I don't have to take the lens off to put the camera in the box. A lot of housings you have to remove the lens to get it in. It's more of a two 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 part process. This one is super simple. And then when I get it in, I want to make sure everything functions. Make sure the camera comes on. I want to make sure that the camera goes into video mode and then back into still mode. And if it does, it's good to go. Alright, this housing is not as user friendly as the CNC housing. So this whole system needs to come apart to get the camera in the box. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So with this, I have to put the lens in separately without the camera, which ain't a huge deal, but when you're in a rush, it's another step you gotta take. Or if you're on the boat and you're wet, and you gotta take the lens out of your camera, off your camera, it is a pain in the bottom. the o-ring is clear clean of all of coral's hair <laughs> in the box it goes now this is a lens And because I don't have a zoom ring control on this camera, I have to make sure that it's in 15 millimeters. So if you don't do that, it's not gonna work.
what did you think of that? It was good. It was absolutely incredible. <laughs> um, so, we're, so we just crawled out of the water here, guys, and it was absolutely challenging conditions. And that the spring, as it rolls up to the surface, is about a three knot current, and it's pushing up through this hole. And as you can see now, we've lost our light, and what we had to do today was actually balance the cameras at depth. As the light shaft fell down through the tunnel, the top of the, uh, as you call it a tunnel? Hole. The hole, the, the blue hole. hole. The blue hole. <laughs> as the light shaft falls down through there, there's some white shale or sand on the bottom. And we actually didn't get good color until we swam down and actually balanced the camera to that white at the very bottom of the hole. So it's only about 30 feet deep here. So it's not a challenging free dive, um, except for the fact that the current's pushing it about three knots up and out of the hole. Yeah. Coral actually had a, a whole lot easier time with it than I did today because not with the water temperature, but before we talk about that, <laughs> she, she's cold. <laughs> My legs are fully exposed. But, but just we didn't bring any weights, so we ran up. Yeah. We ran into this guy up the road, Wayne, and he actually gave us two three-pound lead weights, and they wouldn't fit on my belt. So as you can see, I stuffed them in my pockets, um, <laughs> underneath my wetsuit, and um, I'm in this brand new custom-made um, seven to eight suit, um, and it's very buoyant. So it wasn't enough lead for me. That, in conjunction with the fact that there was about three knots of current, uplifting current coming up out of the top of the hole, made it very challenging. But all in all, it was a great shoot. I love those light rays as they come down through. Those yeah. are, that's obviously, that's why we came here. That's why we wanted to shoot this time of day. As Beautiful. you can see now, the, the rays are gone. The light's gone. So all the light in that hole is gone. So all the real natural beauty of it is still there, but we're missing that one really great part of it, which is the light rays as they beam yeah. down. But really, all in all, a great experience. It is freaking cold in there. It's 72 degrees um, year round. So um, a lot colder than our warm our water from home. But um, all in all, super, super successful, I think yeah, so anyway. it was great. Let's go cool. get some food. <laughs> Trails and waterways of this park. They usually eat fish, turtles, and other small animals, but may attack larger animals such as deer. Alligators have also been known to attack humans. And then, alligators are dangerous. Yo. I'm glad they told us alligators are dangerous. I'll be sure to stay away from them. <laughs>